Hello, everyone. Welcome back for some more Let's Read Tsukihime. So, we got the true ending with Akia last time, which is, uh, I really liked it. There was some discourse about whether or not the ending means Shiki's alive, and I think the, am the ambiguity of it is a good thing, because it lets the reader have the choice. Do you think it's just Akia's hopeful thinking, or do you think it's going to be like an actual thing that they follow up on? It's up to you, and I like that. I, I like ambiguous endings like that for that reason of, you don't have to worry. You can interpret it as you like. Um, we're going after her true ending. Now, from what I read, there's actually two true endings, but only one of them counts as an actual ending, but we're going to be getting them both, just because of the fact that, well, if there's two special endings, we'll try to do them both. So, uh, we will have to go back just a little bit here. I do have up uh, here. So, since the extra non-registered ending is the one that we can get first, uh, we're going to get that first. So, we're going to need to go to probably about right here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take that breath so that we don't die. So, we're going to skip that. Um, the next is... Uh, What's the next one I need? Okay, the next one is stop. Okay. So now I have the choice to either chase after Akiha is the correct thing. We can now get a bonus ending if we say we can't do it. So let's see what happens. Well, I can't do it. There's no way I can do that. Akiha didn't do anything wrong. She didn't do anything wrong, so why... Does she have to end up like this? You know, I just realized maybe it's called the true ending or the, the the normal ending because there's not much we can do. Oh no. The sound of my knife dropping. My arm has lost all strength without me knowing it. The knife that fell out of my hand sticks in the tatami floor. The knife is uh, the room is drenched in blood. The room I was living in when I was still an Ayashiki a long time ago. The room she came to see me in so many times when my old man wasn't looking. Just a day ago. Yep, that's something that happened. We felt everything about each other here. Don't flash to more. Had Akia already accepted this outcome back then? All I could do was refuse. Even though Akia told me everything, I tried to push it away. I didn't want to accept those facts and vaguely, I was wishing it wouldn't happen. That is my crime. I told Akiha I loved her, yet I couldn't protect her. Akiha. I have to compensate for the crime I've committed. I can only protect Akiha from now on, no matter what happens. Even if Akiha has become a creature that only kills people, and even if she could only realize, recognize me as another creature. Starting now, probably until I die, I will live for Akiha and tie her to this world. That is the way to end the show for Tonoshiki, who could not save anything. Oh, there is an epilogue here. Distant Reed Warbler. I love the word warbler. It's a fun one. I open my eyes. Endless blue soaks my empty mind. Slightly warm sunlight and a slightly cool breeze. A world with only the smell of grass and the sound of trees. It might be that this mansion's forest is in a different season. It's almost winter, but this place still feels like autumn. I look up at the blue sky as I lie on the ground. The sun is already way up in the sky. I guess I fell asleep. I guess it was my fault for lying down here on the grass after breakfast. Well, I didn't have anything to do anyway doing this here, falling asleep deeply, even forgetting my name, can't be that bad. Bottomless blue, the clear sky is far away, thinking like a child I keep on watching the sky, a far sky like in a dream. The view is so beautiful, I can't even let out a sigh of amazement. Shiki-sama? Are you over here, Shiki-sama? 
I hear Hisui's voice from behind the courtyard. It's that time already. I guess I fell asleep again. If I forgot time while watching the blue sky, it makes no difference if I was sleeping or not. Hisui arrives, composed. Shikisama, Akiha-sama is calling for you. Oh. Alright. Well, I guess I was asleep. Sorry for being troublesome, Hisui. Not at all. It is nothing of the sort. Hisui looks down as if she wants to say something. I know what Hisui wants to say, but even if she did, I wouldn't be able to give her an answer. I'll get going. Can you tell Kohaku-san in about an hour or so? Uh, I turn my back to Hisui and head to the detached building where Akiha is waiting. She's going to be tied to something, huh? In the room lives a girl. No, the term lives is not right. The girl cannot move of her own will. She only moves as a living thing when she eats and sits there like a statue when she isn't. So instead of live, exists is a more correct term, since she's more like a doll. I'm sorry, Akiha. I fell asleep and couldn't make it in time. I enter the room and close the shoji. Akiha sits there and does not move. Oh, your hair's messed up. Looks like you haven't changed yet either. Didn't Kohaku-san come by this morning? Akiha does not say anything. She looks in my direction with a blank stare. No, it just seems like she's looking. Alright, let's at least make your hair look good. I touch Akiya's hair. She makes no motion to fight it. Quietly, as softly as I can, I let my hands go through her hair. Her long hair flows in my hand. Akiya does not say anything. After some time like that, Akiya suddenly moves her arm. Akiha? There's no answer. She just takes my arm and brings it to her mouth. After hard sensation, Akiya bites on my arm and starts to suck out my blood expressionlessly. Her white throat gulps down my blood. The blood that spills out of her mouth drips down her throat and stains her kimono red. Gah. I grit my teeth and hold on till Akiha is full. There's no proper quantity for Akiha. She stops only when she's full, and I can't predict when that is. So all I can do is wait like this for her to be full. Uh, I feel dizzy, but I don't pull back. Isui was against this until the very last minute. I decided to give Akiya my own blood ever since she could only... I decided to give Akiya my own blood ever since she could only take in human blood. Huh. It was not a sense of responsibility. If Akiya could only survive by taking in blood, I wanted to limit the number of victims, and most of all, I do not want Akiya to drink anyone's blood except mine. I guess Akiya really likes my blood. So we're we just going to ignore that fact that, uh, there's a silent implication that Hisui and Kohaku aren't human. Well, I guess we'll save that for the next route. She's never gone outside since then. But it really is dangerous for my body. I do not have much blood to start off with, and I am not healthy enough to keep feeding Akiya blood. I faint most of the time when I come here once a day to feed her. But when I'm getting blood from transfusion, it takes my body a while to get used to other people's blood. My body is getting weaker by the day. I guess the reason for Hisui trying to say something every time she sees my face is to tell me I should care for myself more. It's such a thing. It's many times easier since I can feel the pain, unlike Akiha. Akiha lowers her arm. I guess she's happy now, but she lets go of my arm. Then she goes back to being a doll once more. I clean the dripping blood off her face and change her dirty kimono. Akiya does not fight back. She just accepts everything I do. There. Akiya's proud look is nowhere to be seen. I'd be lying if I said this isn't hard on me. But still, my feeling of happiness is greater. Akiha is alive. She's alive and she's here right now. Then, someday, Akiha might return to the Akiha she once was. Alright. Well, see ya, Akiha. I'll come back tomorrow, so listen to Kohaku-san at night. I say the same phrase as yesterday. No, the same phrase as always, as I hold Akiha's hand. Slender fingers, small hands. I cover them with mine. The warmth, the 
fact that she is alive. It almost makes me cry. I suppress that feeling and smile. I want to laugh, so I won't have any room for any sadness. It's easy to feel sad about the situation I'm in. Even if Akia doesn't understand, I have to keep on smiling in front of her. One day, if Akia ever finds herself again, I'd want her to remember how I was sad. I want her to think that this was nothing. That this was one of the happy times, too. So I have to keep on smiling. Even if Akia doesn't understand right now, so that Akia wouldn't regret the past when she finds herself again. Keep on waiting, holding her hands. Even if Akia's eyes are not staring at anything, I will keep smiling until the end of the world. So that one day, when Akia wakes up, I'll be able to greet her like it was another normal day and say, Hi. Wow. Um, hmm. That's, uh, mad depressing. Oh my goodness. That might be... I mean, I guess it's not a good end. It's not a bad end. We don't die. But man, is it... Yeah, I guess that's a normal end, huh? I'm gonna click through this, because we have another one to see. We don't gotta see these credits in full again. That's rough. That's a rough one. Huh? I had no idea that that would go that direction at all. Oh, that's rough. The raw deal. Well, we'll see how this goes through the actual true end. Or, well, the actual normal end. Yeah, because even though that's like an end that gives you credits, it doesn't get added to your... Um, to your list there. You've reached Akia's normal ending. Well done. Each heroine has two sets of endings. Um, normal and true. Rue's different from everyone's in which how much Akia likes you does not determine which ending you receive. It also, that has an extra normal ending, which is what you're reading right now. Yep. Well, this ending is called Akia's normal ending will not register as an ending in the game. Yeah? What is this? You're talking nonsense. Take it up with the game designers if you must. Tonokun, please proceed to play through Akia-san's route to reach her real normal ending. Well then, thank you very much for playing up to this point. Let's meet again somewhere in Tsukihime. Yes, we will. Okay, so that was the one. So let's go to... Probably like even like the final decision, honestly. So we are going to... Okay, is this the right one? Okay, so chase after Akiha. Yes. Skip. So now we do... Okay, we're on keep my promise or I can't do that. Uh, wait. Wait, hold up. I need to go back. Whoop, that's too far. Hold up, hold up. I need to I need to follow I need to follow the 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 endings here. Okay, here we go. Okay, so trail of blood. Okay, so take a breath, right? Go after him. Skip. Okay, next up, stop. Okay, then we skip. Then we say, chase after Akiha. Skip. This time we say, I can't do it. Right? Yeah, I can't do that. Skip. Now here we go. This is it. This is now, we're, we're at the time where we all have knife in hand... We are ready to do it, and we're gonna set. We're gonna chicken out of the last second. We're gonna say nope, wrong. Yeah, it's probably wrong. It's all right if I can save. Really, it's all right if I can really save Akia by dying, but there's no proof of that. And besides, I don't think death can be a way to save someone. Even if Akia is saved by my death, how would she feel afterwards? It's fine if she only feels sad about it, but. It's wrong if she should feel guilty for the rest of her life. I don't think that choosing death is neither courageous nor honorable. I think that it's just a way to run from reality. Akiha. Akiha is unlike the Akiha from before. She's become la creature that just kills others. But still I want her to live. If 
I can bear everything for Akiha, who can't feel crime or punishment, I want to believe that Akiha can live. One day. I don't think she'll turn back one day. But to keep my belief in her is the last rule for me, as I could not keep her promise. Akiha, even if you're like this forever, I kneel and scoop up Akiha's red hair. Just being able to be with you. Well, that would be my greatest happiness. The autumn leaves fall. Autumn is ending. In this garden filled with many memories, I quietly kiss Akiha. A ritual with no meaning. I faintly see the future. This will be my last time touching Akiha as Tonoshiki. Well, time for another epilogue. Oh, is this the same? Is this going to be the same? Oh, is this going to be... Oh. This is the same. But the fact that it's not labeled as being different is interesting. So we'll see here. So we go through the courtyard. History arrives is the same so far. I guess it makes sense that it would kind of go to the same way. But we'll see if it has any changes once we get inside here. Okay, this is all the same still. Don't gotta read it a whole second time. Okay. She looks in my direction. Touch her hair. There's no emotion. He doesn't say anything. She chomps on the arm. We suck at the blood. Yeah, this is all... Okay. Again, that line is kind of sussy. It's a little sussy, my baka. Okay. It's a damn good thing I can speed read. That is, that is, that is something I can do. Which also makes reading like novels and stuff hard because I go so fast sometimes I lose track of the, the plot. Okay, is this just the exact same? Come back tomorrow. Slender finger, small hand, the warmth. Wanna cry. This is all. Oh, it's the exact same. All right. Kind of weird that that's one of them is regarded as a real end and the other is not. It's a little strange. Definitely. Definitely on the weirder end of the spectrum. And boy, did this not last a long time. <laughs> we we got through that in sonic speed. Um, which is fine, because I want to play some Melty Blood anyways. So, let's get on through. And we're definitely going to take, the, uh, take the, the lesson at the end and see if there's any new info. Especially about going on to the next uh, story there. See if there's any hint at uh, how we go there. Okay. Yes, give me the lesson. Reach the Kia's normal ending. Well done. Each year, with one exception, has two different kinds of endings. Kia Sans is different. Yeah, we got that. Thank you for playing up to this point. Wow, that that's it. That's it. Just thanks. You got it. Um, ending list. There we go. You got warm afternoon nap and distant read warbler. Okay. So. So. I stand by. Overall, I really enjoy Akia's Root. I think Akia's Root is a really good... Someone put it in the comments very well where it's like, it's one of the few roots where Shiki gets used to being part of a family again. And like, that's good, right? He doesn't just push away his family for vampire shenanigans. He, like, it, it really goes into him establishing those important relationships with those in his house and i think yeah that's you know that's that's kind of what we're seeing a lot with the far side so i'm excited for that uh so i'm gonna do my finishing speech here for Tsukihime before we move on over to melted blood there this is gonna be the end of uh i'm not gonna be going right away into the um the stuff with the uh the maids right away just because i am going to be moving very soon, and as such, I do not want to be, again, stop halfway through. 
uh, because who knows how long it'll take for me to get set up there. So we're going to take a, a bit of a height. It's just a bit, just a touch. Um, about the same length as it was to get to Ikea's here. Um, although originally I thought that I was going to be moving before. So then I got, I got this whole route in. It's okay. It's complicated. It's real life stuff. No worries. Um, but yeah, we'll be going through, through, we have to go through histories before Kohaku's people told me. Like you can't actually get to Kohaku's without going through histories. So okay, we will. Um, I'm excited for that. I'm excited to see where that goes. Learn a bit about the maids because again, there's some sussy implications for for that that makes me go hmm, stroking my chin right so that's what we're gonna do but for now let's go check out some akiha lab work in melty blood so i'll see you all over there okay here we are we're ready to uh to check out some of Akiha's moves in uh, in Melty Blood here, so we will pick uh, the regular Akiha here. Although let's check out her another costume, and we'll beat up uh, our 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 Onisan here, and we'll pop him in his regular costume. And let's go to let's see, I mean, we got to be in the Tono Mansion. Let's go to the Tono Mansion right here in the the lobby here. I do have uh, some moves up here for us to check out. Some stuff to see. Some important things. Oh, it's it's like her school uniform before they actually added that as a as an alternate costume. I see. I see that makes sense. Uh, so, all right. So we got some moves here. We got A. That's her A. We got crouching A. Let's take a look here. So we got just a basic, basic... It looks, so it's funny, because it looks like a slap, but it comes out as kind of like a claw. Gee, that's a, that's some decent, that's, that's a slightly deceptive hitbox. The effect doesn't actually show how far it goes. We got the B, which is her, yeah, we got that. Got there, crouching. Oh, interesting. It seems to have a third hit there, because we got one, two. That's her launcher, but we also got one, two, three. Now, is that an overhead? Let's see here. CPU, can we get him to crouch? Yes, good. Can we get crouch block? Well, probably not. That's okay, then. Uh, we won't worry about that. That's, that's getting too much into it. We also have a close C and a far C. So far C is a kick. Close C is... It's a different type of slash. Let's see if we can bring him over to see. Go mid-screen. Okay, so. It's like a crazy slash. Okay, okay. Um, and then cr on the crouch, we have... We have a very long kick, actually. Wow. How far does that go? Wow, that hitbox. That's something else. Uh, and then in the air, we have kicking down. We have slashing down. And we have kicking up. Okay. That probably launches in the air a bit. That's kind of a mid, this one here. It definitely doesn't go as low. Yeah, okay. And then throw is again... Apparently, it does a random number of hits. Oh, wow. She has RNG hits. Is that the same for both directions? Yep. That is so strange. I've never seen it. That one had one single. Wow. Because we had eight and nine the one time. That's crazy. And we did see the... Um, it in the air, which is the great... Yeah, the, the slam jam. Okay. So BB is the launcher. BB. Got it. Uh, we also have... Yeah, 2B, 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 which is that there. Apparently, the third hit does not hit Arcuid, uh, Evil Warcuid, Arcuid, or uh, who is Warakia? Wara, I don't know. Oh, Wallachia. Okay, yeah. I know that guy exists. I don't know anything about him. Um, apparently, they don't work. We also have 6C. That's not what I wanted. Oh, that's, that's the meme kick. Yeah, 
possible to combo from it. Combo from it, huh? Yeah, you can. Very cool. And then 2C. Okay, that's there. Knocks opponent down. Can be used as a mid-attack if done immediately after jumping from the ground. Let's see here. That's a pretty tough input, actually. I feel like short hop it almost. Okay, okay. Blowback edge is B and 2. How did I do that? There we go. You have to like... That's a weird input. Oh, it's at the same time. Very strange input. Um, mid attack has armor. Still difficult to chain launcher from it though. Let's try. I don't know what I did there. Okay. Not impossible. Okay. Now for special moves. Okay. 236A. Uh, and 236B. So it says the startup delay is quite slow. It doesn't combo from anything besides an OTG. So if I get you down. Let's see here. It does not hit OTG. I was wrong. Um, am I doing that right? 236. Wait. That's that's the wrong thing there. 236. Yeah, no, I'm doing it right. How does that hit OTG? They gotta be far away to hit OTG, huh? Ow. You know what? Okay, one thing I did learn. Apparently some of this is the React stuff, which I don't have installed, so there might be some stuff there. Um, okay, and then there is, apparently there's an air version of it. Oh, yeah. Okay. What a strange looking soundless attack. Strange. What a weird hitbox. Wow, it actually comes... It, does it come down at random angles? It's not consistent. That's so weird. He's an RNG character? Do we have hitbox sphere? We super don't. Let me try and use it in the air there. Okay, let me try here. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, so, very strange, very different. Now we have her trap move, which is, um, okay, so, uh, so that's sure you can, nope, 214, that's backwards. Okay, and then do it again to activate, okay. The first one sets up the command, the second one does it. The command for a setting can be done in the air, okay. Location depends on which button is pressed, okay. Where a Kihai is or where the opponent is. Cool. Neat. And that actually goes out quite a bit. Cool. Now we have 2-2-A. That's the double down. Oh. Oh. That's new. That's cool. It doesn't... It says it hits OTG. Okay, wait. I wonder. Let's try hit him down. See, it says OTG, but I'm not seeing any OTG stuff with that. Nope. Yeah, no, this is absolutely not an OTG for, for in this game at least. Um, okay, cool. That's cool. Uh, so that was the 2-2 two, two AB. Also have 412, anti air. Wait, 412. That would be. Backwards sure you can, yeah. Okay, haven't seen that yet. Anti air doesn't have invincibility and won't hit some crouching opponents. Neat. Can I launch into it, kind of? Kind of. 
Eh. I don't love that hitbox, honestly. Kind of jank. It's a little jank, honestly. I'm not the biggest fan. Alright, EX moves. Here we go. So we have uh, 236C. Okay, was that the one that I was meant to do? Okay, so we have 2369. Oh, I gotta give myself a limit meter. Um, combo gauge max. There we go. So we're gonna go. Okay, there we go. Um, is that different? That's good damage, though. Yeah, that is different. That is a different one, huh? So we got 236. That does 27 hits. So we got 2369. That's the one I was doing there. Oops. Come on. That one's 12 hits. So I'm, I think I might be doing something totally different for that one. Okay, well, still kind of cool. Um, and then we do the air version. That's cool. Okay. Uh, next up, we have EX Kimono no Kogatsu. So that is... First, we'll go back. And I can activate with C. So it says, has wider range and more hits. Uh, the fireball wall is set where Kia is standing. You can't do that in the air, yeah. But you can activate it with any button. Okay, very cool. Um, EX Tsukiwokatsu. Down, down, C. Okay. Fire Pillars appears right where the opponent is standing. That's good. The ability to literally just home in on him wherever they might be. That's really good. I like that. A little bit of startup, though. A little bit of startup. Okay, so now we have... Um, let's see here. Kakuyaku Momiji is 426C. It's a backwards shore you can. Nope. Wow, that is the lamest looking move I think I've ever seen. Does more damage. Other than that, nothing special. Yeah, like I, I can barely think of any usage of it, honestly. That move sucks. Um, okay, arc drive here. I think this is the one I did before. Um, so it's four. Oh, yeah, it's that there. Okay. So there's a, there's a close and a far version. Tap for more hits. Okay. Okay, so that, that there is... Yeah, it's not really like a grab per se. I don't, I don't really see that there, huh? Alright, some more interesting things. Um, ground dash and back, back dash do not consume vital. Okay, so that's good. And uh, apparently her pre-fight opening animation is different when fighting against Kohaku. Very cool. I also, I'm not gonna lie, I've been looking a bit at some of the maid stuff just because of the fact that they got confirmed uh, both separately and together for Lumina. So I was like, how do, how do these combined maids play? So uh, let's uh, let's do some matches then. And I say, yeah, sure, let's, let's go against uh, one of the maids there. Versus computer, we're gonna be, let's hop into our third costume. I said our third costume. And let's go against, you said Kohaku, right? That's his Sui. There's Kohaku. And let's put Kohaku in her uh, second costume as well. And let's go. Let's see what we got here. Let's see, see what sort of fun stuff we have. Okay. It is fun that they're matching there. Okay. Get her there. Again, I don't really understand the purpose of the, um... What was I gonna say? The, 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 the dizzy. Considering kind of what, what happens with it. Okay, that was a bit of a weird activation. Okay. 
Very good. Look at her. Style. Grace. She's Miss Tsukihime. Trying to, trying to get some of those air combos down, you know? You can't carpet bomb me. That chip damage is actually kind of incredible, though. Okay, that one hit OTG there. God, the, the movement you can do is, like, next to nothing, it feels like. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. I love how that just straight up didn't work there. Yeah, just random hits. What a strange thing. It's kind of cool, but very strange. She's so mad. She's so mad. All right, let's switch over to um, Red, because again, she's just a, a palette swap in this. And let's go fight. Um, let's go fight herself. Let's pop you into your fourth costume. Let's do this. Let's see what we get. Her hair mustn't just change when she does her super then, right? I'm assuming that's what it's going to be. Almost looks like a Yukiko costume. Or at least the other one there. I tried to jump there and I didn't. Come on, you can jump. Wow! Wow! 15 hits! Look at that grab! I cannot believe that that grab did 15 hits for that much damage. Oh, that was sick. Oh my god. Please, help me. Okay, that was close. That was close, but we did it. There was some sick stuff there, though. Okay. Cool, I love I love missing that. So you can kind of combo into that. Very cool. I wanted to win with the super, but nope, didn't really work. Okay. All right. She's pretty fun. Um, I seriously wonder if the random number of hits gimmick is ever brought back because it's kind of whack. It's a little whack. Um, let's pop over to your extra costume. And you know, it's been a moment. Let's fight, uh, let's fight Ark. I wonder if that, those random hits are in because that is kind of the most whack mechanic I've ever seen for, for a throw. Like, it's very strange. All right. I love how we both, like, did the exact same idea of, yeah, get those repeated grabs. Okay. What a weird hitbox on that, specifically, you know? Kind of wish that hit there. Oh, some of these can hit OTG, actually. Like, just the air attacks. Huh. OTG, for those who don't... I keep using that word, and you might not know what that is. That's off the ground. Off the ground means something like will hit them if they're, like, in, in, a, in a prone kind of state. Okay. Okay, I see you. Oh, she's going. Oh, she's going. Okay, so my vital source has been hit there. I want to keep jumping after that. This isn't the best fight stick, I'm going to say. That is, and that's, you might think that's John's, but no, it's, it's, it's super real. I tried to do my arc drive there. Okay, you got dunks too. You got dunks too. You're not the only dunkster here. Okay. 
God, just the nice smooth jazz of it all. So good there. Okay. Okay. Calm down, Ark. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. Boy, you are just guarding everything today, huh? Cool. Come on. Okay, that was close. That was close. That was close than I would have liked, honestly. I was trying to, I was trying to, trying to play cool, but you know, that's not the best thing to do. Uh, well, all right. I didn't mean to hit one once again. I did not. Oh, well, I accidentally hit it. I was going to say goodbye, but no, we're, we're getting the run back. I love, I love those air grabs. The ability to dunk characters in this game is wonderful. I just, I love it. Okay. So good. It's so good. You love it. Alright, what's the arc drive again? Because I want to double check what it is. 4, 1, 2, 3, C. Okay. Gotta get all the meter for that, though. Okay. I got one of those, too, you know. That's so tough to do, though. It's so such a weird input. Okay. Okay, so... She just doesn't get the red hair. She just has it automatically. Okay. Ooh. I love the clash system. Someone said like, you know, there's two types of Melty Blood combo videos and there's doing combos and doing clashes and either way, it's still the sickest thing. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay. Well, I didn't mean to hit save replay, but that was sick, so we're going to pop that in there. Okay, well, thank you all for watching. And uh, like I said, next time we'll be back with the maids, but that will be at a later date. So we will see you then uh, for that. Have a nice time, everyone. We'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye.